Solid. So today's video is going to be dealing with adjectives. So we've been seeing adjectives in our vocab lists a bunch. Um, and now in stage eight, and for anyone who's following along with the book, it's stage eight of the, the Cambridge book. So this is on page 132. It's the, about the language part two. All right. So with adjectives, we've seen a bunch of them. All right. And we've seen them mostly just describing regular old things. However, in this chapter, we're starting to see uh, degrees of those adjectives. We're starting to see over excitement with that. All right. So before we've seen things like erati, all right, um, the, the slaves were angry. But if they are super angry for whatever reason, maybe they're not getting fed enough, maybe they're not getting, you know, they're being worked uh, too harshly or being whipped too much, we might want to use, say they're very angry. Now in English, we would add the word very. However, in Latin, we add a little infix into it. And so the sentence changes from um, sentence changes to servi erant eratissimi. The slaves were very angry. All right? In this in this infix of the isim is that very in English, okay? So in Latin, we just have to add in those letters to get that sense across, all right? It would look like this with other words. So say you have the word litus. Happy, uh, Quintus S. Litus. We want to say Quintus is very happy. We get rid of that U.S. and we get the stem light, L-A-T. L A E T. We add I S S I M. And then slap on that ending again. U S. Quintus S. Lightissimus. Quintus is very happy. Or say we are talking about um, Metella. Mattella was famous or well known. But we want to say that she's very well known. Mattella was very well known. All we have to add in is these letters, I S S I M. And then we have this new degree. We have, we're able to say a very adjective. Now in Latin, we call this, and in, and in English too. We call this the superlative, okay? The superlative degree, the highest change of the adjective, okay? Now, just so you know, ism is going to get us most of the way there, but some words like like polker, that adjective, that doesn't end in a U.S ending or an A ending, which we're used to. It ends with an R. And so we have a bit of a different uh, way to make it superlative. You would see it as pulcherius, all right? So instead of the double S, you have a double R. And some just change their stems all together. We've seen these two words, bonus meaning good. And if we want to say very good, we have to use the word optimum. Okay. But these adjectives like this or like this are very rare. You're more likely to see this change with the ISSIM. All right. So that's memorize this and you're going to be most confident with your superlatives. All right. And once you become a master at this, this adjective degree, you'll be able to understand the other ones as well. All right. So that's all I have for today's video on, on adjectives and the superlative degree. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or ask them in class. Um, wallet.